Hello, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur, and welcome back to Stellaris Federations, where last time we continued to expand our galactic empire. We met one or two new alien civilizations, and we also made one or two enemies. We're here looking at our star base in Matsonia, which is our closest outport to the Yandarians who have recently declared us a rival. We've recently had some border friction with these guys as they've started to expand aggressively into our area, even skipping over one of the systems so that they could take ours first. So I've gone ahead and declared them a rival and I've already started upgrading my military force and doubling down on our alloys. But that's going to be probably the main focus of this episode is to prepare for the threats that we face. So I believe the first thing that needs attention is Kruger Oceanum. At the very least we have unlocked a new building. But we're also dangerously low on housing and jobs. And one other thing I noticed is the colony designation. Right now it's a rural world. This planet actually has the most of urban worlds. So city district costs minus 10%. District build speed plus 25%. And I guess I can change that anytime I want. So probably first thing we want to do is get an alloy foundry in. That'll be good jobs. And then also a city district. Build that next. And then let's start clearing out. Oh, we don't have the right technology. And over at Matsonia base, we can start getting more modules and buildings in there. And we're also over our star base capacity. We're now at five out of four. Oh, we don't have the alloys. But once we get the alloys in, we can start doing this. And a reminder that we've lost the ISS Jordan construction ship because of the Andarians and Menkar system. So I wanted to take a look at the faction screen for a while. We're above 50% with all three factions. The largest of which is the Association of Technocratic Reform. But I feel like maybe we could make some improvements. Not really it turns out because the Peace and Prosperity Initiative, we would have to adopt defensive stance. Defensive wars only. I don't want to do that because I'm mad at the Yandarians. And the Martial Order of the Thorn though, we have to do a conquest or install ourselves as overlord of a foreign power. But we do have the Association of Technocratic Reform. They want us to have science without borders. And we can sign a research treaty with three other empires. We already have one, so let's look into that. I'm always down for more science. And let's check on the Tebazoids. <clears throat> and they're not willing to form a research agreement. Maybe if we sent an envoy there, because right now their opinion is right at even. So it wouldn't take much, I believe, and send Kayan Saraparakash over there. So the High Kingdom of Yan are authoritarian pacifist, and they don't like my bombardment policy. So indiscriminate bombardment allows us to use our full weaponry to destroy armies from space. Selective allows only the minimum while keeping civilian casualties in mind. So right now I don't want to take over any other habitable worlds. So I'm fine to switch to selective. 10 years, that should not be a problem. So one thing I'd like to change for accuracy's sake, is refugees welcome? Absolutely not. Citizen species only, please. Thank you. We'll be having none of your kind around here. All right, let's get back into it and see if we can build up our military to where we think we might be able to take Mankar or something else, defend ourselves from the exterminators next door. It's starting to be a dangerous galaxy around here. 
All right, so now that we have the alloys for Madsonia, I'm going to get... Construction complete. Let's get a gun battery in first. Up here in Lichtabon, the Danube is all set. We're kind of maxed out up that way, though. Come back down here, and we can get a base in there. We still have an alloy and some good energy credits. We're ready to go back in Matsonia, and I'm going to get an anchorage down. And at this point, we can also afford, I guess, crew quarters. We might want our Navy over there sooner rather than later. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. And we've got technologies coming in. Mining station output, always welcome. Back to engineering. We can upgrade to a star hold. That's quite a bit of research. But we also have weather control system. I guess right now I want to take the star hold. So our science ship is done in Firin Malba. Although it's way over here on the other side of the new Yandorian Empire. I'm not even sure we can get back home. We can go all the way through Yan territory. Thank you very much. Oh, and our construction ship has returned to Seoul. Let's get him back out here towards Darrakis. We can claim this system at some point. And we have another alloy foundry complete and we're up to 31 alloys a month. That's not bad at all. We found another agricultural site, although we haven't been paying too much attention to them. The archaeology window shows details of the currently selected archaeology site. After progress is made, you can still go back and read previous stages by clicking the rune icons. A lot of the ones that we found so far have been really difficult. This one doesn't look too bad. We do have quite an easy one up here in good old Fleanita. So I'm going to eventually send the Darwin and Victor Dudnik over that way. And at the moment, we do have both of our construction ships are moving through Alpha Centauri. Here's the Danube. And there's the Jordan. And right now, we're dealing with homelessness on Kruger Oceanum. That will be done in about four months when the city district is complete. Maybe I want to get more jobs in on Kruger as well. I'm going to build a, a generator district and that will get started immediately after the city. Science division report success. And we're done in science again. So this is coming in nice and fast. Basic combat roles. That's a good one. What else do you have for me now? Global energy management. That'll give us more energy credits. Or we have research station output 10%. FTL inhibition. Enemy ships will be unable to leave the system along any other hyperlane than the one they entered. Let's go ahead and take the global energy management. That will get us a boost to credits, but it's also not too long at 3100. And speaking of research, let's check in with the Tebezoids. You guys want a research agreement now? They do not. Mostly because I have another agreement. It might be really tough to get three. The distance from us is part of the problem as well. So I'm going to move my diplomat back to the Avtiran Empire. They seem my best natural ally right now. And we do have a little bit of border friction that I would like to smooth over. But in the meantime, I have the alloys to get three more Corvettes in. And that will bring us up to 28. So I can also, if we have a look at the build ship, now we have different combat computers. I have Swarm or Picket. The ship will advance to close range and attempt to intercept the enemy. Swarm tactics, the ship will charge straight at enemies and try to deal as much damage as possible from point blank range. How's that different from... It's not really, except we get bonuses to ship fire rate and evasion. And here we get ship fire rate and tracking. I guess this one holds off a little bit more though. So I actually can't do anything right now because we're currently building Corvettes. So wait till this is done and then check back in. 
Oh, we have an encounter in Lictabon with new aliens. The Z aliens. Interesting. Aliens have signed a federal cooperation treaty. Oh, snap. We have our first federation. The Trebizoid Trade Commission. And the Zothorian Confederated Military Junta. The Interstellar Security Partnership. It's the Zithorian Confederated Colonies. Archon Ankpu Kar sends regards. We hope for a productive relationship with your impressive nation. They are xenophile and militarists. All right, so they like us. We're both militarists. Our warriors salute you. Oh, so they like us a lot. We're at plus 30. How are you good, sir? They are rivaling the Avtirans. So I'm trying to be friendly with the Avtirans right now. Oh, the politics are getting spicy. So it looks like the Zithorians are way up here, almost in the center of the galaxy. I've also noticed that we're having a problem with Empire Sprawl, and part of that comes from districts. And I don't think I need this district right now, so let's go ahead and cancel. And we are still researching the Z aliens over here. That was not the Confederation. Interdimensional trade decreases. The Mirror Dimension Galactic Human Directorate reports that their economy is in decline due to a series of defeats. Hopefully they will recover. Doubtful. And the Alpine world up here has been claimed by the Tebezoi Trade Commission. So there's not too much reason to keep expanding up in that direction. We're just about fully boxed in. We might as well add to our sprawl while we have the opportunity. And get another star base in there. So the Jordan is in Darrakis. Build an outpost. Construction complete. And we're done in Priasan. So, the Danube. We still have a few other places that we can build that are next to our empire, but they haven't really been surveyed. I'm going to get the Kelvin to come over this way and survey this system. We may be able to claim that. I have no idea what's in it. Permanent communications have been established with an alien empire. And we've discovered the Figyar Authority. The Figyar Authority Military Dictatorship. Honor-bound warriors. Greetings from the Grand Marshal Katag, the undisputed ruler of the Figyar Authority. We wish to learn more about your species. Our warriors salute you. There we go. They're tiny. Smaller than we are, it would seem. Way up here. Although they've gone off into deep reaches of space that we haven't, so fair enough. Oh, we found maybe a habitable world here in Bertios. It's an alpine world. Science division reports success. We've got another breakthrough in science. Naval capacity from soldier jobs up. Not sure if we have soldier jobs. I don't believe we do. We have some armies, but no soldier jobs. And we have ocean ecology management. Could help me clear up some blockers on Oceanum. And hydroponic farming. We're still doing more than fine on food. Or off-world trading company produces two trade value for each hub. I guess that's the only one that I feel like we need right now. Or could benefit from. I never did get back to look at the ship designer. All this is fine. I guess we'll stick with the swarm because it's the most similar to what we have, but with bonuses. It's going to cost us four alloys though. Now we can upgrade all of our fleets. 52 alloys there, that's not bad at all. And over at the second fleet, only 28. So the Danube is done down here in Poau. I'm going to get him up to Lictabon. We're no longer over our starbase capacity. So we can build one right here next to the exterminators and next to 
the Avtarians. Actually, we don't do that with the construction ship. We can do it right here from Lichterbahn Station. Recon pass completed. And we are done in Bertillo, so we can get the Jordan and build an outpost there. And eventually we'll be able to get another anchorage in there. So I'm going to go ahead over to Vinjim Station and start building a few more Corvettes. And we're, we've claimed Bertios, so let's continue building some mining stations there. Research first, always. Thank you. Science Division report success. Oh, the Avtirans have declared rivalry with the XT-489. It's probably for the best. Everybody hates those guys. Or those machines. Whatever. Global energy management. That seemed quick. Anushka Pujari is really doing her job. She does have the highest bonus. We have improved deflectors. That's almost like a no-brainer right now. Just go ahead. Thank you. I'm not even looking at the other ones. A non-aggression pack. A non-aggression pack between the High Kingdom of Yan and the Avtirans. I'm also fine with that. Thank you. The Avtirans have been busy diplomatically lately. Construction complete. So Lichterbahn Station is done. Let's check that out. We definitely need to put in an anchorage first. And then we'll also go with... Let's go with the hangar bag. That seems cool. And then for the building, maybe a target uplink computer. And with that, I'm going to go back to Seoul. And guess what? We're going to get four more Corvettes. Oh, we only have the minerals or the alloys for three. That's fine. I got a little carried away. All right. So I'm also going to get a Cassis Bella on Quanaga. That sounds fantastic. 12 minerals there. That's a whole ton. So I have two claims down on them, and I really want to go ahead and declare war. But the problem is, that I won't really have any allies. I haven't seen any other wars in the galaxy so far, so maybe it's a little bit early to do that. I haven't even really finished claiming all the systems that I can. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and insult him. The kingdom of Yandaram is a nation of fools, worthy of nothing but contempt. And so hopefully we'll see war next time. I'm really itching to take those two systems, or at least the one that they hopped in in front of me. I was so close. But war is coming sooner or later against the Divine Empire. But for now, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur. This has been Stellaris Federations. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and have a good night. For the moment, we're in food danger, but that won't last too long. It's not going to go well for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Here's Maddox, and he puts that just inside the far post. Either that or we'll set off some more aliens, but either way. We can. And that's job done.